Hi everyone, Dr. Timothy Gallagher. And Dr. Michael Marciello. And we're from Margal Medical. This week, we're going to get an update from our patient, Gabby Price. If you remember, Gabby's a professional tennis player on the WTA Tour. And this week, we're going to catch up as she continues to advance from her treatment here at Marigal Medical, including regenerative medicine. This is really great. It's gonna be right from the Dominican Republic. So stay tuned, everyone. Hi, my name is Gabby Price, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on how I'm feeling post stem cell injections. I received my shots about seven weeks ago, and I'm back to playing tennis, I'm back to doing fitness, and I'm even back to playing tournaments. I received the injections because I was having chronic elbow, wrist, and knee tendinitis for over two years. So I just want to say I'm so thankful for Dr. Tim, Dr. Mike, the whole team at Margo Medical Center, Regenerative Labs for providing the stem cells for me because without them I'd still be in chronic pain right now. Um, the recovery from the treatment was very easy. I was only out for four weeks and I was doing fitness from the start just to build up my strength a little bit. And I can say that I'm back pain-free, I'm able to serve with no pain, I'm able to run on a treadmill with no pain, which I haven't been able to do in two years, which is a miracle. Thank you guys for everything, and I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm feeling. Wow, wasn't that awesome? I mean, we weren't really sure when we initially talked to Gabby and Gabby's dad, Mark, and if you remember, uh, Mark was a classmate of mine in chiropractic school. Um, we weren't really sure the extent of her injuries. You know, we had their MRIs to review, but it's really when you get face to face with the patient, you get to evaluate the patient. Um, until that point, you get a true understanding of what her injuries were looking like. And we weren't really expecting the depth of her injuries or the severity of her injuries. Too. Yeah, we heard that she was coming up for some elbow pain, again, a little bit of shoulder problems that you would expect in a tennis player, but my gosh, everything was really inflamed. Yeah. You know, we have this concept we call the closed chain exercise and activities. So when one thing leads to another, leads to another. So she was inflamed at the wrist, at the elbow, at the shoulder, because that closed chain of one thing causing another one, it just results in, again, more and more aggravation and more injuries that come on because one thing can compensate for another. And she had a lot of these things, including a knee problem that because, you know, she's running constantly and jumping and moving positions, all those factors just kind of say, oh my gosh, this is really involved and we have to kind of really shut her down to really make sure the treatment is the right choice. Yeah, and not only just shut her down, but the added pressure too to remember, you know, it's beginning of the season, so she was ramping up for the 2023 Pro Tour, um, and there was a sense of urgency. And when we got a look at her and, and saw the severity of the injuries, we really had to talk with Gabby and Mark to just let it take its course. And, you know, when you're going back to you know your sport in this case at a professional level you're training six to eight hours a day and it's just truly remarkable that she responded so quickly and that she was able to get back at that high level of play so quickly yeah we have to recognize there's a level of time that's needed for rest so yeah. again the body heals in time with not a continued aggravation but if you think about it, she's training six to eight hours which really her work is her training and her ability to play tennis so we got a lot of our patients who are going to work eight hours a day, right? That's a typical uh, uh, job time frame, but they're doing physical work. If you're a carpenter, construction worker, the body has to go through a lot of movements to try to recover. And so we're always thinking about when is the right opportune time to get them back to work. And there's a judgment because when we do our treatments, we need to make sure we put in time for healing. Right. And it's, it's so great too. It's you know a combination of obviously the response from the Wharton's jelly allograft. Those were the regenerative cells that we injected. And thanks to Regenerative Labs for sponsoring Gabby for her treatment, but also too the work that she needed to do once she got back to Boca Raton. You know the chiropractic treatment. You know, and she's lucky her dad is a, a chiropractor, a former classmate of mine, but also physical therapy. So you know, Colleen took the time to take her through that robotic scan with Hanova. And you would figure at a professional level, uh, there wouldn't be that much of a deficiency, but Colleen picked up some really key elements uh, with some gluteal uh, weakness that you wouldn't guess would happen with a professional athlete. So she was able to you know, conference in a call with Gabby's PT and physiotherapist, 
really structure the appropriate rehabilitation once you got back to Boca Raton. Yeah, that just goes to show again, no matter how performing, uh, how strong, how actually skilled you are, when you have pains and injuries and, and your body is thrown off, you, you create deficits and you become weak relative to what you need to be doing. And so that was identified by Colleen and realities are we needed to identify those to help get her back on track because now she can focus on her weak links. Right, and we'll keep you updated with her progress as she makes gains to make another appearance at this year's uh, US Open. And remember folks, you don't have to be a professional athlete to benefit from care here at Marigal Medical. We take a unique approach where we combine medical care, physical therapy, and chiropractic treatment under one roof. And best yet, we take most insurances. For more information about our practice, please check us out on the web at marvellmedical.com. We also have a wealth of information on our YouTube channel. Please consider subscribing to that. Well, that's it for today. I hope you were inspired and learned something. That's it for today. Take care, folks.